Good day, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Elite Dangerous, or AI Tracking, or Open Track, or the combination of thereof. Even Star Citizen, as you can see, you don't see it yet, but we're going to pull that up right now. I'm going to show you something that is absolutely simply amazing. You need to have this for your flight sims, your space sims, whatever sim that you're doing, you need it. Absolutely. Go get it right now. AI Track. An open track this is the place to be okay so let's take a look boom what is this this if you look up here to this face not you get it the one that is doing the crazy boxes thing it is detecting my head movement how crazy is that okay so it's able to detect my eyes my eyebrows nose mouth and my full chin i've heard rumors that in the old versions that people with beards it would flip their heads around because it wasn't able to ascertain whether or not this is the head or the chin. It seems to not be a problem for me, at least with my size of beard, and it is able to completely track it, even if I'm looking like right away, I'm looking way away. Like, look at this. I'm looking almost 90 degrees. Okay, that's when it starts to kick out right about there. But, I mean, that's pretty good. You're probably not going to be doing that because the point of this is so that I can keep my eyes on the screen while something's happening well what is that so what you've got this tracking what is happening next you take this this is now going to translate these movements into actual joystick movements now watch this and if i go to start and if i to calibrate you got to look at the screen in your relaxed position so i sit here relaxed looking dead at the screen there and now as you can see from the little squid any movement that i do is translated into movements to head movements. So if I look up, my little squid's looking up. If I look down, now the reason it's looking down so much, it looks like it's looking completely backwards, is I don't want to turn my head all the way around because then I can't see the screen. I need to be able to see the screen. So what I've done is I've created a couple of mapping things where certain, like yaw, I get to this point and 30 degrees translate into 90, almost 90 degrees here, 80. Oh, it is 90 degrees. There we go. So if I turn my head 30 degrees, this is now 90 degrees. So my head in game is going to turn this much. And if I turn a little bit more, now I'm looking behind me. But I can still see my screen, which is why this is advantageous. Pitch. You got roll tracking. You got translation. So you got X axis, Y axis. You've got Z, which is towards the camera. If you want to look at people in the eye, you can do that. Um, but yeah. So what? So how does how does this actually work for the game? Let's pull up Elite Dangerous here. Cuz this is this is where this gets to be really really cool. Because I have myself a pretty okay setup here. And while that's loading, I'll show you. I've got myself a Satex Cyborg Evo, which is one of my favorite. It's got the um, throttle control, it's got the twisting capability, it's got full axis hat uh, trigger, all that stuff. And a lot of times the games require you to like use the hat to kind of look around. I don't want to do that. I don't like doing that. And so what I'm going to do instead, look to look around. That's why this is so freaking cool. All right. I forgot that there's a secondary launcher down with secondary launchers, by the way, they're the worst. I also have a set of foot pedals here so I can yaw left and right by kicking the pedals. Um, yeah so here's the game it's coming up now so all this combination of things and this is like the next step right below vr um i find that this is going to be really really comfortable for people to use it's really intuitive because if you just want to look then things happen that's why this is so amazing uh, I don't know if my web ah, it's not too invasive. Please let me know in the comments if this webcam is too invasive for the game. I'm going to start recording it like this, I think. Maybe I'll get a background so I can chop off my head so it's not so crazy and, and kind of like do it. I'll just do the private stuff so that you can see without interruption what exactly is going on. Okay, so I got myself a Diamondback Explorer, which is completely outfitted for long range transport. I need to get some engineering modules. Okay, here we go. This is a perfect example. So I want to look straight ahead. I'm looking straight ahead and I can kind of do things as I go around. I can look left, I can look right, and I can actually look at the consoles if I want. I don't like that because it's like really finicky for me to get it. So what I do actually end up doing is hitting the buttons for and stuff like that. And it stays. 
So even if I'm moving my head around, it's still staying like this. So that's good. Where this is really good is if I'm like trying to like dogfight with people, then I can look up and around and stuff like that. Okay, where am I? I am not where my ships are. Well, I could I could even show you just by doing that. So just by flying over here, I'm just going to take a quick little... Come on. Let's plot a route to there. And let's go launch. Okay. Use my throttle here for the actual throttle. And I've got WASD as my translation, so left, right. Um, and then rolling is Q and E, I think. No. Let's see. Up and down. But as you can see... <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Please. So good at this game. Oh, it's because the auto launch took over, you stupid thing. So I can look up and I can. Oh, there's my point. So as I'm looking up, I can boost away. That's the cool part about this. I can look down and we are no longer mass locked. Get the frame shift drive. As it's coming into view, we can kind of pull ourselves into position just by using head movement. Where's that station gone? There's that station. That's just, I don't know. It's intuitive. I want to look left. If a bogey is coming at me to the left, I can quickly look to the left. Yes, my eyes still have to like look at the screen, but this works. And I'm sorry if this is like jittering and stuff like that, but like it is, it's intuitive what you need to do. All right, where's Blueford Station? Where is it? Oh! Is that Mr... Oh, that's the mission target right there. Okay. That solves everything. Time for combat. So now, see, I can look up as I'm fighting this thing. Oh, that's bright. What do we got here? I didn't say I was good at fighting. I just said it was possible. I really have terrible lasers, apparently. There we go. There we go. Just got to go back to Blueford Orbital and we should be good to go. So yeah, that is sort of why why this works. There's another piece of something somewhere. Oh. Well, let's go take him out. If he's going to be a nuisance. Get a bonus round. Holy, people are taking him to town. I'm not. If I start getting shot at, I'm done for sure. Woo. That's really cool. Just the sounds alone are really, really cool. Oh, there you go. I got some pretty decent uh, stuff there. And there you have it. Um, so this is exactly what it is. Looking right, left, up, down. Really helps your combat, it helps you to track the targets. Um, I think it is an essential piece of kit uh, for this. So, as I said, it's AI track, an open track. You put the two together, and you, um, I could show you my key configures here, um, but it basically, as you can see here for ship controls, is joystick control. So, uh, head look mode, and it's just joystick uh, Y and X axis, and that's it. 
that's all it does. Um, very, very handy. Uh, as you can see, being able to look around your ship is key to winning those those dogfights. And even like just scanning, because um, then you can look around. And it's like, okay, well, what what do I want to see next? Well, I can look at this, and I can target it just by looking at it. Or oh, hey, what's that? Instead of it having to be like some random like. Um, item that you are trying to uh, to locate by cycling through each of the targets. You can actually look at something and say, I want to target that item right there. And you can do that. It may look a little weird of you doing this and looking at a screen, but you know, let's get past that part and everything is fine. So I uh, hope you like it. If you want to see more of these, uh, let me know. I'm going to be playing a little bit more of this uh, as we go along. I had something else going on in the side with uh, Space Engineers. Hopefully that kicks off. Uh, kind of like a role-playing sort of style game, uh, but this one is uh, here to stay for a little while uh, And if there's any place that you would like me to visit or see or anything like that Let me know because I'm very new to this game. I've only been in it for a week uh, And I'm very interested in this game. It's a very very uh, cool game. All right, and with that I will see you later